has uh, about 25 minutes of activity here alone on the moon's surface, uh, testing the, the environment, moving around like this, taking a good look at the uh, lunar module, which she's given us a check on. Seems to be in good shape. Very little scoring of the moon's surface by the uh, descent propulsion system engine. Uh, the pads uh, settled uh, nicely, but not very deeply into this fine powdery sand or fine powdery surface of the uh, moon. Apparently it's in good position for the, to provide the platform for takeoff, or we have heard something about that by now from him. The surgeon says that camera installed on the ICU bracket. The surgeon says the crew is doing well. Data is good, crew is doing well. And I'm still in the LEC on the secondary stud. That would seem to indicate that they're not overexerting, I gather. Uh, That's good. They're not That's using right. too much oxygen, or they're not uh, big about too much heat for the cooling system. Another one of our concerns erased, uh, the fact that there isn't that much work, they're, they're not stressing. I'll step out and take some of my first pictures here. He's got a, a Hasselblad camera looking now. I think that's the one that was lowered to him for still pictures. It's not the sequence camera, which I believe stays in the lunar module. Uh, uh, Roger, Neil, we're reading you loud and clear. Let's see, get some pictures and uh, the contingency sample. I think that the flight plan actually called for him to take uh, the contingency sample first and then the pictures. Uh, uh, as I recall all my reading of the plan up to now, the contingency sample went 35 and a half minutes of PLSS time expended now. not to uh, gather up a contingency sample because he feels there's no contingency here. He's yeah. showing great confidence that they'll do everything they intend to do. Uh, it's uh, very well can be. Houston, uh, did you copy about the contingency sample over? All right, you're going to get to that just as soon as I finish uh, the picture series. Well, he kind of twisted the uh, order around a little bit. Uh, you, you may be right, uh, Wally, as to what's in his mind, because uh, the contingency sample really is superfluous if they go on with the rest of the uh, walk and get the uh, full samples, uh, the 100 pounds or so of rock, and the documented samples yes. of, of rock, in which they identify rock by rock, where they got it, and picture where they got it, and all that sort of thing. Although Newell's kind of shaking his head there about <laughs> that, and Newell asked wants that contingency sample first, just like it said in the flight plan. <laughs> I want to be sure he gets that pocket full of uh, surface rock. Make sure we get something. Right. I have an idea we're going to get everything we want. I wouldn't be surprised. It's just going so beautifully. The moving around and the exertion that they're showing in doing that, or that Neil's showing so far, is, of course, the great thing that they've learned already. And okay, you're going to get the contingency sample there the right. Now Aldrin's been bugging for it. <laughs> the man is going to get tired of those kibitzers in a minute and get them up to the <laughs> contingency sample just to quiet them. Nag, nag, nag. They stepped out of the field of view. I wonder what he's up to now. <laughs> Okay, the uh, contingency sample is uh, down and it's 